It's been a while since 2022's Need for Speed Unbound released. Despite its lack of polish, I think Unbound is a good game. While the characters are the weirdest I've seen in any Need for Speed, the driving is something I enjoy. The drift racers are fun, and I love the takeovers. To be brutally honest, the variety of races are too lacking. I think Unbound could benefit from drag races, outruns, and other race types. The game's replay value could benefit a lot. It gets repetitive playing the same Corner King event over and over. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. There are always less than 10 meetups on the game map, most having repeat events not paying much. Certain events have extortionate buy-in costs. Events with huge cash prizes require extreme buy-in fees. On the flip side, Unbound's driving can be enjoyable. The Burst Nitrous is a neat addition, giving you a short yet powerful boost. The Break to Drift system seems to be more refined and optional compared to previous entries. I like the map of Lakeshore. I've been waiting for a Chicago setting for the longest time. I think the map could benefit from more hiding spots within the downtown and surrounding areas. The police chases are unique in a way that you can actually earn money from them. It's just a shame the limited dialogue gets annoying real fast. Spike strip up ahead should stop the suspect. Pop still moving at speed, dispatch. Need for Speed Unbound deserved better in multiple factors. There weren't as much unique DLC cars added throughout the game's lifespan. I was hoping we could earn more cars like the Porsche Cur GT, the Pagani Zonda, you know, icons from Hot Pursuit 2010, to name a few. Don't get me wrong, I love the DLC cars that were already added like the DeLorean, the Mercedes Maybach, and others too. I will forever be appreciative and thankful for those cars. Only one or two unique vehicles were present in the multiple volume updates, like per update. Unbound deserved more care and attention from EA. In the endgame, Unbound felt lacking. Not much event variety, as said earlier. You just repeat a few events all across the map, uh, there's no fast travel, and you literally have to drive all the way to a meetup just for that one event, and chances are you're gonna be in a high heat police chase that will waste a lot of your time. I would really love if Criterion could add a fast travel feature to Unbound. However, I love seeing other racers cruising Lakeshore, so we could challenge them like in Underground 2. Things like that breathe more life into the game, in my opinion. Now this one aspect of Need for Speed Unbound really bothered me. So there's this one character in Need for Speed Unbound, ASAP Rocky, popular rapper in real life. He seems to have an underutilized role in Unbound, and this is coming from someone who doesn't even listen to his music. He should have played a bigger role in the story if he's going to be in Unbound. They definitely should have given him a purpose to be in the game other than a rival. In the final game, all we got is a mission in which we pick ASAP Rocky up and drive him somewhere, all while he blabs on and on and on. It gets annoying after a while, and that's just my opinion, okay? That's just my opinion. You can hate me all you want, but at the end of the day, that's just me. I'm not an ASAP Rocky listener, so I'm sorry if you're offended. His car is very nice, though. That Mercedes has a dope body kit. Heck, the whole car in general is beautiful. However, for the EA Play exclusive cars, like uh, Eddie's Skyline, Rachel's 350Z, the Rockport Fugitive's M3 GTR, I, I wish and I desire for those cars to be available in the base game for non-subscribers. I mean, look at it this way. Those cars were free in Heat. You can't get them in the base game in Unbound. Why, Criterion? Why? Overall, Unbound is a game I want to love. I enjoy it quite a lot, but I do admit it's not worth the extortionate $70 that I paid. It's just not. Unbound needed more polish, more content, more events, and a fix to that atrocious bouncing suspension bug. For the next Need for Speed game, I hope Criterion can stay away from that Gen Z TikToker influencer aesthetic they were going for. The cel shaded characters were nice, but that whole atmosphere 
of the that influencer and social media thing. I vehemently believe that it does not mix in well with the characters and the narrative structure in any Need for Speed game moving forward. Here's hoping all the best on Criterion's future for developing Need for Speed. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a big like. Consider subscribing if you want to support this channel. I'm the Need for Speed Beast and see you all next time.